Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can fix this error. Uh, the error that we get on Google Play Store uh, while downloading an app or updating an app. So the error that we get is uh, whatever the app name could not be downloaded due to an error 492. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out. And let's see if this fixes your issue or not. Okay. So. Uh, method one we have is you have to clear the cache and data of google play store google play services and google services framework okay so in order to do that uh, you have to go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here apps or application manager so just tap on it and just swipe to the right uh, to all tabs over here and find here google play store so let me find that so here I have Google Play Store so just tap on it and tap on clear data and then tap on OK and again you need to go back and find here Google Play services so here I have just tap on it tap on manage space and uh, tap on clear all data and then tap on OK Okay guys, so it's done. Again, you need to go back and find here Google Services Framework. So here we have, just tap on it and tap on clear data and then tap on OK. Uh, as you can see, it's not done. Okay guys, so after that you need to uh, restart your phone and try to uh, download an app or update an app. Okay, so uh, let's see if this fixes your issue or not. Okay so suppose you try this you know method one and it doesn't work for you uh, then you can try this method two so you have to reinstall the app okay so if you are updating an app and getting error 492 it can occur if apps are not properly installed okay so you have to uninstall the app and reinstall it so in order to uninstall that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here again apps or application manager just tap on it and just swipe to the right to all tabs over here and just you know find an app that is you know giving you the error okay so suppose adobe acrobate so just you know open it and you have option here to uninstall so just uninstall and go to play store and uh, try to download an app okay or inst uh, reinstall the app okay Okay guys, so you try this method 2 and it doesn't work for you, uh, then you can try this method 3. So you have to reboot into recovery uh, mode and you have to wipe the cache partition as well as you know, you have to wipe the downward cache. Okay. So uh, ways to get into the recovery mode on Samsung, I'm gonna you know tell you. But if you have some other device or phone, then you can find from your manufacturer how to get into the recovery mode. It's really very simple. They will. Uh, give you the tutorial for that okay so for Samsung phones uh, you have to turn off the device and uh, now you have to press and hold the volume up power and home buttons until you see the Samsung screen now release the power button but continue to press home and volume up until you are brought into the recovery mode okay guys so it's really very simple and you can uh, do that very easily okay so after that you need to press the volume down key several times to highlight you know wipe cache partition so i'm gonna just show you one image over here uh, let me you know make it big in order so that you guys can see as you can see we have here you know wipe cache partition and volume up or down to move highlight and press the power button to select it okay so let me Okay guys so here i have okay and uh it will you know wipe you know cache partition so just do that and and after you are done wiping you know cache partition you have to wipe the dalvik cache as well so you have to press the volume down key several times to highlight advance and press power button to select and then wipe dalvik cache so let me show you one more image over here i have how how you guys can you know wipe Dalvik cache okay so as you can see we have advanced just just you know highlight it and you have here you know 
wipe down with cache and again just you know select select it by using power button and you will get this option wipe down with cache and just you know wipe it okay okay guys and after that you need to reboot your you know phone and go to play store and try to download or update an app okay so uh, so let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay guys so you tried you know this method 3 and it doesn't work for you uh, then you can try this method 4 you have to format your you know SD card okay so if you have apps on your SD card and you get error 492 while downloading or updating an app then you your SD card might SD card might be corrupted okay so do a complete format of your SD card restart your phone and go to play store and try to download or update it okay so in order to do you know your format your SD card you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here storage so let me find that storage here I have storage just tap on it and scroll down and uh, here I have SD card I don't have you know much over here okay so okay just a second okay I have option over here it is SD card just tap on it and just tap on it is SD card it is everything so make sure you uh, back up your SD card before doing this as you can see SD card is currently being checked and it's done okay guys so after that you need to restart your phone and go to play store and try to download or update it okay you okay guys so this is really very you know uh, easy method you can try that out okay guys so you tried you know all these methods and it doesn't work for you so in worst cases you have to factory reset your phone so you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here backup and reset okay just tap on it and as you can see factory data reset we have over here and just you know tap on this reset phone and it will uh, reset your phone to factory version okay okay guys so try these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so that's it for this video thanks for watching and uh, i will catch you in my another tutorials bye bye take care